This new trend in Paris that revolves around these expensive luxury desserts that are almost a thing of its own. And we mapped out three places. So this is a free that we wanted to check and wanted to answer a few questions. Does it work it? How much does it cost? How to get a table there without an excessive weight? And which one is the best? So let's go to our first stop. Today I woke up feeling pretty good and feeling like I should go out on a run. Don't know where. So the first one is actually two in one. So it's a Dior and they have Le Café Dior that at the exit of Dior Gallery Exposition, this is the thing that you need to get your own ticket for. And I actually don't think you can get to the cafe without going for the exposition, but an exposition definitely worth it. And it's not very expensive. I think it's around $10 for the entry. The only thing you need to book in advance because otherwise it's a long wait and yeah, it's easier to just book in advance. Put my headphones on and played my favorite song and drifted off to a different space. A different time and place. It's a feeling I can't ignore. It comes knocking on my door and I'm ready, I'm ready. When those bad thoughts find their way, I'm gonna slam the door and say, I'm not here to play. I tell them not today. enjoyed this place I love that everything there is branded from the glasses to the forks and spoons and everything and we only ordered the savory dishes here because we wanted to save the cake experience to the second place called your Lapatisserie. And then the second one is right in the shop. So this famous shop of Dior on Avenue Montaigne that you probably saw in a bunch of movies and TV shows and in the heart of it you have a restaurant and la pâtisserie and so la pâtisserie is basically the cakes and the drinks and you can go there without booking if you want to go to the restaurant and have like a more extensive menu you are better book in advance because there's high chance they're gonna be full hey, maybe tomorrow, not today. our order and we took a place outside because there's nobody and it's nice so i got this it's um puff pastry with a strawberry and something else inside got flat whites and we got a chocolate cake chocolate is not for me it's for you and yeah and then we have a coffee and it's so cute because it comes with this little chocolate in the shape of star which is melting the prices is to be expected so the flat white is 16. so no. everything is over 10 and i think like for two pastors two coffees we'll probably have it around 60 or even more it's time to try this thing yum yeah so it's raspberry brioche it's good i like this one Louis Vuitton and this is another place that neighbors the shop and you have the exposition called Louis Vuitton dream which is actually free and then at the exit of it you've got a cafe Louis Vuitton and just like Dior it has the restaurant part and then the pastry section and in a similar way you need to book a restaurant in advance but the pastry shop you can just stay in line and get your <laughs> We finally got a 
table and was a little bit overweight, but we're also masters of coming on Saturdays. And I really love their menu. It's like all pastas have the monograms. And yeah, so this is a cafe, and you can only have coffee, pastry, <clears throat> and for the restaurant you have to cook in the past. Cappuccino with oat milk. Yes, I'm gonna take latte. Cakes and it's time to try. So I've got this white one. It's like one of brown and it's clear with vanilla. It's okay. Tag, so we'll pay 56 it's euros. 56 euros for two pastries and two coffees, and it's like 18 per pastry. And then the coffee is 9 10 euros, depending on what you choose. But I think it's a really nice experience. And then the last one is not connected to a fashion brand, but it became so fashionable and so popular in the recent years that we felt like it's a part of the same category. The most Instagrammable desserts, I think, in Paris for sure, and I don't know, maybe internationally. And this place is called Cedric Grilly Opera. It's a free Michelin star pastry chef that started his own thing. And I think it was about five years when he opened his first shop, which only sold his famous hyper-realistic desserts that look like fruits and then second place that has a shop on the first floor and then a restaurant or a cafe on the second floor and it became so popular that the average waiting time to get your pastry or croissant or anything is about two hours and the line is there every day we decided to go and try does it really worth it at the end of the video, I will also share some tips of how you can get there without such a long wait. I want to share my ratings. So I think the least favorite probably was the last we tried. Those desserts look amazing, but somehow they just leave you a little disappointed. This said, there is one thing that is my absolute favorite in the shop. So if you go there, I would definitely recommend the apple pie, something I prefer over croissant and, or even over their deliciously looking desserts. Still a great place to try. And as I promised, here's the tip to get to try those without an excessive weight. So the best way to do it is to book a cafe. When you go to the cafe, you, you go through the shop and you can actually grab some pastry to go before or after you had your meal. The trick here is to book it at the beginning of the month because it's when they put all of their availability on the website. You will have to also pay a deposit. So if you can't make it, make sure to cancel so that you don't lose your money. The second place was Dior. Dior and Louis Vuitton were very close to me, but I personally had my favorite at Louis Vuitton, so this is our winner. But Dior also has a great selection of the cakes, and if I had to pick a favorite from their cafe, it would be this pastry with raspberry. I don't remember the exact name, but here's the photo. It was actually very reasonably priced compared to the cakes, and 
the taste was just as good. And then, as I said, our winner was Louis Vuitton Cafe, and the winner for me it would be the pear cake. I liked it because it had this light texture, but it also had a lot of flavor. We also tried the chocolate, and I'm not a big fan of chocolate, and though it was delicious, it was also a bit heavier, and it was kind of a lot for one person. Now about the prices. When it comes to pricing, those are obviously places where you should expect to pay premium, but we were still a little bit taken aback by just how premium it was. So for the drinks, it was around $15 for one cup, which is triple the average price you would pay for a latte, for a good latte in Paris. And then for the cakes, it was even more, it was around 20 euros. Depending on the selection, might be a little less, a little more, but this is kind of the average. These are the fashion brands, and this is kind of the trendy place and eat things, so it kind of makes sense. Still a little excessive, but then what I think is well priced are their baked goods, so the croissant or this like pastry with a filling, which were under ten dollars and sometimes actually under five. And those were my preference in most of the places. So if you want to still try it, but be reasonable, I would recommend taking one of the baked goods, one of the cakes, and then share it and see what you think about those. Experience-wise, I think it's still worth it to go at least to one of those places and enjoy this luxury dessert dining. And then the other thing that can enrich your experience is actually going to one of the expositions of these fashion brands that are right by the cafe. If you want to know more about the expositions, I made a separate episode on this and you're welcome to watch it next. Thank you for watching and I will see you around.